Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. I'm so from Decreto. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create 3D tilt effect using Elementor Pro. Here I'm no using any extra plugins or any custom CSS or single line of code. We'll use only Elementor Pro features. So if you have don't have Elementor Pro, I'll put the Elementor Pro link in the description. You can download it from here. You will don't have to pay extra something, just we'll earn a small commission from your download. So you can upload to YouTube to continue your YouTube channels daily regularly. So you can download from the Elementor Pro from the description. So let's move on the video. If I see on the Elementor plugins dashboard and if you can see that the Elementor Pro is now activated on my website and if I hover on the Elementor you can see the license option is also available here. It means the Elementor Pro is activated. So if I go to the Elementor editor page now if you can see if I'm hovering on the mobile devices the passcode interface is now behind the mobile frame and if I'm hovering now it is looking like a 3D. So how you can do that in Elementor Pro? Let's do it. So if I'm deleting this whole thing, so I'm just deleting this, click on delete and then just click on delete this. Now it is just okay 3D effect so let me create a new one. Just click on this and then select structure and then the section and make some height. So now click on this plus icon and select two column structure and then uh, click on the section and make some height to fit to screen and then click on the plus icon and place on inner section here now let's copy the the, you know, the text and this everything so let's copy the whole column so i'm copying this whole column and then paste it here so just paste it and now delete this column so the text content are now copied and if i just click on this delete I don't want to use the two columns I only I need that one column so let's click on the section again and then make some height I'm giving to minimum height and a pixel I'm giving it to like 500 500 to 600 pixel I'm giving it to 580 pixel now it's looking fine and then click on update so after clicking update button and go to the inner section here is the inner section click on this and then go to the style tab i don't want to use image widget so i use only background overlay and the background so if you click on the background overlay also you can first as far as you first you can choose the background so let's background choose the image as you like the image this is the image mobile frame and then position will be center centered and don't do this in attachment repeat will be no repeat and size will be custom i'm giving it to custom size also you can set it to cover like that so as you can as your choice you can do that as your website sizes right so let's make the section at first let's make the section padding so click on the section and make some padding we forgot it so let's do this now it is now complete and they click on the inner section again and now time to get the um, um, put the image in overlay so this is the background overlay click on the classic and the image so place one image here like this it is looking like it's ugly so let's make it to fit at position will be i'm giving it to custom and the repeat will be no repeat and size will be size also i'm giving it to custom now let's make the opacity to 100 and width i'm giving it to in pixel let's make the pixel like this and then position i'm giving it to custom as i selected in custom a position so you can do anything in this mobile in the mobile frame under the mobile frame so let's make to fit like that and then width i'm giving it to like 200 pixel 180 pixel 180 it's looking fine the so y position i'm giving it to like this let's make it 200 200 let's make it 200 now x position i'm giving it to means so this this is the horizontal position like this and choose the image as like the ratio like if this is the mobile this is 16 point 16 5 is to 9 ratio so you have to choose the image also 16 to 9 or 9 to 16, 9 to 16 ratio because you have to fit in the mobile devices right so click on this filters and if i'm change the background brightness to match the mobile from the mobile background color that's why I'm giving it this. So let's fit this. 
like this it is looking perfectly fit now click on update and then check the other page so i am reloading the website it will not this is the first so it is it, how, how is the website looks like this now it is overlapping with mobile frame and the past screenshots now click on the parent column this is the edit column so you have to click on this this is the parent column or you can say it outer column so click on it then go to the advanced tab and here is the motion effect just click on it and here is the mouse effect switch on it then click on the mouse track now if i am hovering now i can see that the mobile frame with the skin sort is now hovering with the mouse direction right so let's make the speed 2.5 so it's looking good now you can change the direction like it is upper, defaultly set in opposite so when you click on direct you can see the mouse effect which if is if i'm showing the mouse that in the left side the mobile also i'm going to the right side left side so i'm clicking on the opposite side defaultly and now click on update and then click on the section and then go to the style tab here and here is the from the background you will see the mouse effect so click on this and also click on mouse track now you can change also from there so let's make the speed to 0.5 again let's make the 0.5 and if i'm hovering now you can see that the passcodes the screenshot is now hovering tilting with the image so if i'm just hovering with this mobile device it is now hovering so you have to set like this if i click on the mouse track and then also i'm giving change them change something like if i'm to just to just doing speed control speed and now close this so it is looking overlapping right so you have to set that so let's make this and if i'm hovering now as you can see the tilt effect is too much so let's make it to 0.6 or 7 it's looking good now so if i'm close this bar element bar so the this is the image is overlapping with the section with the mobile frame so you have to adjust it so how to adjust so just make it background and then here is the size you have to make the custom size let's make the pixel and size i'm giving it to like this custom size and then go to the background overlay and make the position now set the position from there like this if i'm now if i'm hovering as you can see the image is not now overlapping it's looking perfectly so that's the process of how you can create 3d tail effect using elementor pro so if you have learned something new today please keep the like button at first and then subscribe this channel to get more videos about elementor wordpress and if you have don't have elementor pro again i'm remembering you that the elementor pro link in the description you can download it from here so see you in the next video till then bye bye thanks for watching